What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys one of the best Trick Room Pokemon of all time. We got ourselves a Rhyperior team for Ranked Regulation Age. Now, when it comes to Rhyperior, this Pokemon is super bulky, hits like an absolute truck, but it is super slow, which is why it works so well in Trick Room. Rhyperior is rocking the solid rock as its ability. It's got the clear amulet as its item. It is a ground and rock type pokemon with the rock terror type and then it's got protect rock slide eq and high horsepower for three stab moves three of them like i said this boy hits like a truck we just gotta set up the trick room for him which is why we got bronzong on today's team now bronzong is going to be our only trick room setter but bronzong's bulky pokemon with the mental herb usually sets up trick room fairly easily bronzong has got levitate with iron defense and body press nice little combo there it also has extra sensory which is a great little stab move for him and like i mentioned trick room to set up trick room you know we're gonna need that with this team if you guys look we also have other trick room pokemon such as a raquinid raquinid rather slow hits pretty hard on the physical attack inside got wide guard liquidation leech life protect with the mystic water like i said raquinid solid trick room pokemon now our final three pokemon on today's team features nine tails baxcalibur and his suing arcanine Assuming Arcanine is going to be a great physical attacker with Rockhead. It's got first turn priority moves such as E Speed. It's got Flare Blitz, Head Smash for big time damage. And then, like I said, Bax Caliber Nine Tails, great little combo there. You set up the snow, you can set up a Roar Veil. You can kind of just chill in the snow with Bax Caliber, do big time damage, out bulk opponents. A lot of different options with this team, so super excited to be using it. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Rhyperior Trick Room team. First match coming at you guys, and it looks like we are going up against a Trick Room team as well. They got Torkoal, they got Sneasel, they got Frigograph, Cleavor, Hisuian, Lilgant, and then on top of that, they got Whimsicott. So, Hisuian and Lilgant could be a scary Pokemon to lead alongside with Torkoal. I mean, I wouldn't like that at all, but I would probably want to bring in Ninetales just in case that is a possibility, so I can, you know, just switch up weather if we have to. But I think from here, we could just go into Bronzong and Rhyperior, which I actually really like. What's your terror typing? You got Rock Terror type. I would have liked something like defensive. But you know what? This works out fine for us. So I'm going to go into Bronzong and Rhyperior. I got to bring in the Ninetales just for simply weather control. And then last but not least, do we go in with Araquanid or Nevermelt Ice Bex Caliber? I feel like both of them could work decently well. Um, hmm. I mean, you got Y Guard. I could just go into like a Raquinid and Bronze. I'm gonna maybe try to set up Trick Room. That's not a bad call instead. But you know, I'm gonna go Raquinid just for a final Pokemon. Just in case Torkoal kind of gets us in a pinch. Having Wide Guard is just so useful. So that is gonna be my play. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's see what they end up leading here. If it's Lilligant and Torkoal, I'm kind of scared because one, Rhyperior four times a week to, you know, Grass, which can get out of hand real quick. And then two, again, we're going to have to switch for weather. They kind of ruin our play, but let's just hope that they don't. The chances are they are. Nope, Cleavor and Logan. Okay, so they can swap into Torkoal here. Um, I could set up the Trick Room. I think we're fine here if we do set up Trick Room. So I'm going to go Trick Room. And honestly, I might just protect you. I could go into Rock Slide with a Terra. But they could also read the Protect. Um, I'm just going to Trasalize Rock Slide. Let's do some damage here. They could swap into... Mm, you know, we're just going to Protect. They could swap into Torkoal and just like Solar Blade. I'm just going to play it safe, play it smart. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. So Protect comes out from Rhyperior. What you got cooking here? You turn going to pivot out of here. Do insane damage with a critical hit. And please attack my Rhyperior. Please attack my Rhyperior with Solar Blade. Swap into Torkoal. Go for Solar Blade into Rhyperior. We got a Protect going here. And there's Torkoal. There is the Torx. The Torx comes out here. There's a the Drought. Go into Solar Blade into my Rhyperior. Solar Blade. Show me Rhyperior. Show me Rhyperior. Let's go. Okay, so that turn right there is pretty solid for us. Um, I think from here, we would just want to Terrastalize Rhyperior into rock drop a rock slide and then on top of that just go into nine tails here i do like rock slide better than eq and high horsepower one because i'm not hitting my my partner pokemon and two i get that nice little terror boost even though it's not very effective on the blow again so 
I'm gonna swap weather. We're gonna keep Bronzong alive for a little bit. We're gonna look to do some nice damage with Rhyperior. Even though Torkoal might actually outspeed it in Trick Room, I mean, we're Rock Terror type. Weather's gonna be gone. I don't mind you dropping a fire move. You could Terrastalize, which I wouldn't mind that as well. I would not mind that as well, but I'm gonna Terrastalize and put a nice big rock on my head. Look to get after it with one of the kings of Trick Room, Rhyperior. I just love Rhyperior so much. It's such a dope Pokemon. It really is. I always thought Rhydon was sick, and then they gave it an evolution. I was like, no way. No way. So Eruption's gonna fly here. Should be able to soak that. Well, Ninetales gonna take a big chunk of damage, but Rhyperior soaks it no problem. Um, wonder if we're going for a Solar Blade again this turn. There's a hot chance. They would have to charge that up now. Rockside launches. Who's dodging this? Torkoal dodges it? Really? Really, Torkoal dodges it. Just what I wanted. Torkoal to dodge this move. So Torkoal dodges that. Solar Blade's gonna come out here. It has to waste a turn charging it, which is good for us. Um, and from here, I could just go into like a, a rack when it just like leech life that. There's a combination of leech life and and rock slide should be able to KO. Or I could go for a wide guard. No, I'd rather go for you know a leech life right here. They might even end up swapping Torkoal, so. I'm gonna go for Rock Slide. I'm gonna go for Leech Slide. I'm gonna double down to the slogan. Torkoal's just gonna protect. That's fine. As long as I land this Rock Slide in that slot, we're chilling. We are chilling. The Rock Slide it does end up landing. That's beautiful. That's exactly what we need it. It's gonna do respectable damage. Bring it down low enough for Leech Slide to come across. Bop. See you later. And I could just Wide Guard now if I want to. I could Wide Guard just to protect the right here, which could be nice. Let's see who they go into, because we should we should have, what is it, two turns left in Trick Room? I believe so. Sneasel comes out here, fake, ready to fake out one of them. The Sneasel are on the board. Show me two turns. We do have two turns. I was going to protect you. You're going to fake out the right peer, if anything. You're faking out the right peer, if anything. No doubt in my mind. If you have fake out, maybe I should have just went for rock slide. Maybe I should have just went for the rock slide. Let's see, you gonna fake me out? Wrong Pokemon. I could have rock slizzled. I could have dropped the rock slide there and you get poison touch. Man, that hurts. I could have dropped the rock slide there. He's gonna erupt again, too. He's gonna erupt again. There's a chance he protects. Wow, that hurts his soul, man. I could have dropped the rock slizzle. Raccoonade gonna flinch here. Um, do we just double down the Sneasler? Hoping I get off this one one rock slide into that thing. Really hoping I can. You know, I'm gonna go liquidation. I'm just gonna drop a rock slide. I could wide guard an EQ. Ooh, I could do that. Yeah, that might be better for us. Let's go for wide guard EQ. I mean, Rock Slide's gonna do more damage, so you know what? I take it back. We're gonna have a liquidation in the Rock Slide. Can I land a Rock Slide in Torkoal? It might just protect this turn. It might just protect this turn. So, last turn left in Trick Room. I wonder if he ends up swapping Torkoal. Still got Bronze on, which is pretty nice. And we'll finally see a Terra type pop out here. We were gonna go EQ. We were gonna pop the EQ. We're just gonna go Torkoal Terra type. Is this fire? It is going to be fire. I should have wide guard it. I should have wide guard it. I mean, it should be fine though, right? Eruption going to fly here. I mean, Rhyperior should be able to serve this. Cool. And a rack when it does. That's massive. Rock Slide's going to fly out here. Who's dodging this? Sneasel dodged it. Oh my lord. Why is everybody dodging my moves? Rock Slide should KO the Torkoal? It doesn't even KO the Torkoal. That really hurts soul. Liquidation flies. Wow, we should have KO'd the Sneasel here, too. Leaving it on 1 HP. Love this game. Love this game. Missing Rock Slides. That's the second Rock Slide I missed so far. And Close Combat's going to finish me off. All right, Trick Room gone. Um, Trick Room gone. It's not terrible. We still have Bronze on left, but that's it. Bronze on's typing's not terrible. And Poison's going to take us out next turn, which really sucks. Really does suck. Trick Room's gone. Bronzong's last Pokemon. Man, missing those Rock Slides is doing me dirty. Doing me dirty. And I can't protect. I simply have to attack. So I'm going to attack you, and I'm going to try to get rid of Sneasel if I can. 
I'd rather just go for an extra sensory. I kind of have to go after Torkoal, right? I do have to go after Torkoal. I have to double down Torkoal. If Torkoal survives, he's just going to win the game. Close combat's at speed regardless. Yeah, it's KOing. All day long. GG's. Poison's going to KO me. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. And if I could have just landed one more of those rock slides, just one more. Even onto the Sneasel there. And I don't mind missing a Torkoal earlier in the match. If I could have KO'd that Sneasel there, come on, man. That would have been so nice for us. That would have been so nice for us because we still would have had a Rhyperior. We would have been outspeeding the Torkoal. I wonder what their final Pokemon was. I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. But GG Sword Opponent, let's go hop to our second match. Look for our first win. Moving on to our second match. Looking to get after it. Looking to bounce back. Missed a couple rock slides. End up losing that first match. Going up against Annihilate, Primarina, Ursuluna, Grimmsnarl. And then on top of that, they got a mouse hold with Sinisha. All right. So let's bounce back here. Let's, let's get it going. Let's get it going for the Gene Squad. Um, Who do I think they're going to lead? Potentially screens Grimmsnarl. That's definitely in optimal lead that's definitely a solid lead if they're gonna set up screens i mean we could just go into bronze and set up trick room pretty freely uh what else could we do here what else could jeans do here could maybe just go into back caliber we can maybe just go into our ice that's an option if they're gonna set up screens we might as well set up our screens yeah i'm I, I, i'm down with it i'm down with that and then we'll go right period alongside bronze on making yeah so down with it. So down with it. You want to set up screens? I'm setting up screens. We got a war bell. You got no weather control. I don't believe you have weather control. Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Yeah, I don't I don't think you have weather control. So I think I could set up a war bell pretty freely. Especially if they end up leading Grim Snarl, which I think they're gonna do. And if they don't, we'll just set up our screens without their screens. Yeah, there's Grim Snarl. Cool. Dope. Awesome. Lovely. Cool. Awesome. Dope. Lovely. So screens for screens. Definitely liking that. I don't have... I have Cover Cloak instead of... Instead of Light Clay, so... I'll have to deal with that. So, I'm going to use War Veil. They're potentially swapping. I mean, the only Pokemon that you can really swap into would be Primarina. Kind of soak up this Ice Shard. So, I'm going to send it that way if you end up swapping into Primarina. So, be it. And we'll see what Grimmy Grim wants to do. There's the Witch All. Please don't be Primarina. It's Primarina. It's Primarino, let's be honest here. Okay, it's Annihilate. I'll, I'll take that. Reflect gets thrown out here. Reflect on the board and Roar of our launches. That's good for us. I some crash launches. How much damage are we doing? Get a crit or something. It's actually respectable damage. I like that. What do, what do you got? I thought that was a jack button at first. It's like, why do you have a jack button? But he ends up having leftovers. Which isn't too bad for us. You could end up Terrasalize, and we're going to just launch a Dazzling Gleam. We have Fire Terror if we want to send it, but Dazzling Gleam's going to come out here. And I could just go Fairy Terror and Glee of Rush here. Yeah, we we'll launched it. Let's get off some big-time damage here. Let's get off some big-time damage. Let's get off some nice damage, because there is a chance, too, that you go for, like, a Fire Terror. Which Fire Terror kind of sucks. For us. For us. But we're terrestrializing straight fairy. I don't feel like taking a drain punch from this uh from this annihilate. I mean once we get his HP a little low, you kinda wanna just take out annihilate. Leaving it on the field is a big no-no, because -no, this thing just gets bulked up real quick. So I'd rather just attack this bad boy. So it ends up setting up the light screen to finish the screens. It'll end up protecting annihilate, which is really good for us. And we go for Daz and Gleam, which does respectable damage. I'm hoping Glaive Rush can, you know, do enough damage here. It does. Beautiful. Awesome. Dope. Cool. Annihilate. See you later. Cool. So we get rid of uh, one of their big threats. Annihilate or... Right now, I gotta remember that Baxcalibur is gonna take double damage to his next hit. So I most likely just want to protect this guy. And maybe just launch a Blizzard. Yeah, we're gonna go Blizzard and just simply protect him. I do not feel like taking double damage. Not dealing with that. Not dealing with the double damage. So we still have Rhyperior. We still have Bronzong, which is really good. Bronzong's got Levitate. It's a skill type, so it can kind of deal with this, uh, this Ursaluna decently well. Thunderwave launch is still going to paralyze me, which I do not mind. I kind of wasted my Terra. Kind of sucks, but Blizzard's still landing. Awesome. Give me a Freeze. Any Freeze Pops? No Freeze Pops. And they double down into this Baxcalibur, which is so big. That's so big. They double down the Baxcalibur. I'm just going to rip another Blizzard. 
So I'll send another Blizzard. I could go for Ice Shard. I could go for another Glade Brush. And I think I am going to go for another Glade Brush. Send it. Send it into the Blood Moon Ursaluna. He Thunder Waves me. Slows me down a tad bit. Maybe I get a little Freezy Pop here. Maybe Pax Calibur still outspeeds Ursaluna. Yeah, a chance of that. But luckily, we're still landing Blizzards out here. Blizzard connects. Awesome. Any Freezy Pops? No Freezy Pops. They're outspeeding. Should soak this. Yeah. Blade Brush finish this bad boy off. Awesome. Let's go, Bax Caliber. Come on, Bax Caliber. That's huge. That's huge. But yeah, Grim always playing up against Grimstarl is really tough because of the screens, but luckily I realized I was like, wait a minute. We have our own screens. So I can just kind of counter that. But now looking at the team that we're versing, we're looking pretty good here. <laughs> we're looking pretty good. Not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, we're going to go for another Blizzard. Might as well send it. And I'm just going to protect Bax Caliber just because I don't feel like they can double damage. They might even cancel here. And they do. So quick second match. We bounce back. Nice little sweep here. We're sitting one and one. Moving on to our final match. And we're going up against Skizzy. Nice little scissor team right here. Love that Pokemon. Dope design. They also have Comfy. They got Contrary Superior, if I had to guess. Right? That's got to be Contrary. Then they got Roboom, Archiludon, and... Last but not least, Ursuline. So I could set up Trick Room here. I mean, they do have Comfy to kind of like counter the Trick Room. So things could get a little bit rough on that side of the field. Um, Roll Boom's definitely looking scary. I got Rock Terror, which I, I'd like for damage, but I'd rather have a defensive one. I mean, I got Earth Power, which works decently well. Um, what else could I go into here? I mean, I could set up screens. I think setting up screens is probably our best bet. So I am going to end up leading Nine Tails. And do I end up leading Bronze on with that? I don't think so. I think I just go in with the same lead with Bax Caliber. I just feel like the damage output's good. or super effective up against a few. I mean, Scissor, definitely scary. I could maybe just go into Arcanine instead. Yeah, which is exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to go Arcanine. I'm going to go Ninetales. And then I'm going to bring that Rhyperior Bronze on combo. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get after it. All right. So match number three on its way. Match number one was a close match. End up losing it. Match number two wasn't a close match. We ended up just sweeping it with the uh, Bax Caliber and Nine Tails. We're really hoping they don't lead Scissor here because you know Nine Tails will take big time damage. I might have to be forced to use my Terror type, and they end up doing it. So Double Steel comes out here. Double Steel. We got Arcanine. A little bit of fire damage. Never hurt anybody. And yeah, I feel like we're pretty much set to just terrestrialize you and set up a War Rail. I think we have to do that here. And do I just end up Flare Blitzing you? I just protect you and see what they're going to do. But you know what? I'm just going to go for Flare Blitz. We're just going to do that. So we'll Terrestrialize our Ninetales. For the cost of getting off a War Bell, I just think getting off a War Bell is so important. So I don't mind using my Terror just to get it off. <clears throat> I'd rather not, but I mean, it's the price you got to pay sometimes. So we'll put, we'll put the nice little candles on our head. The chandelier candles. Got a nice little fire typing here. And Scissor just ends up protecting, so... I mean, you're trying to rip a flash can here? What's the play call? Warbell out bout. That's beautiful. I really don't want to mess with the Baxcalibur, or not Baxcalibur, the uh, Archer Luna too much. Just because I don't want to boost stamina that much. Kind of gets annoying real quick. And body Press going to launch, which is going to do respectable damage here. So, they get off a of Body Press, we get off from Warbell. Um, I might switch over to Head Smash here. Definitely want to rip a Blizzard. But I'm thinking I'm actually just going to head smash this scissor right here. And the reason I would rather do this is because I think you're going to swap or terrestrialize. So I think we go into head smash. You're predicting a flare butts into this slot. I like it. <clears throat> bullet punch. No, yes, just fine. A bullet, bullet punch, which is fine. We end up soaking. I just went for a flare butts. I mean, head smash still has a hot shot of KO. And, and I get a freeze on an Archie. Woo! We like a good old freezing Archie. Chance Archie's just gonna thaw out though. Watch this. Watch him thaw out right away. That smash gonna launch here. How much damage are we doing here? Come on, man. Luckily I got E speed. Luckily you didn't thaw out. So that E speed ready to go. That E speed ready to go. We're just gonna keep launching blizzards. We know E speed here. There is a chance you just protect. Do I protect? Now we're just gonna E speed. I should have protected. You're gonna protect this scissor all day. I should have protected. You don't. Awesome. Cool. So E speed. Bye bye. Bye bye. The scissor gone. If we can like get a little lucky on our RNG with this freezy pop, that'd be really nice for us. The boys are gonna launch again. 
keep chunking up damage. We love it. Stamina's gonna boost, but again, we need a little bit of RNG on our side. Awesome. So far, so good. So far, so good. Freeze is actually working like it never does. Let's see who they're gonna go into. So we still have a couple turns left in a War Bell. Could throw another Head Smash. They're gonna end up going into Rillaboom. Now this Pokemon, this is a scary little customer. I mean, we got Blizzard ready to roll, which is nice. Um, it could fake me out. They got Grassy Seeds as well. Boost the defense. I would think they would want to Thrasilize more so than anything, so... I'm just gonna go for a Head Smash here. <laughs> just keep sending them. It ends up just faking out, so he's gonna take some nice Blizzard damage. This is good. This is good. He fakes out. He doesn't Thrasilize. Blizzard drops. Blizzard does nice damage. Beautiful damage. And show me you're still frozen. Give me one more turn. Give me one more turn. Oh my lord. I never had this good freeze RNG. The freeze is freezing. It's it's doing its job. It's doing its job, but he definitely should have thought out by now. I'm not going to sit here and act like this is normal. Not going to do that. So I'll Blizzard again. And you know what? I was going to double down into that slot. But I'm just going to double down into this slot with Head Smash. I was going to double down Arch Luna, but being plus three, it's like, is my head smash really doing that much damage? Grass guy, we end up surviving. That's huge. Blizzard are going to KO the Rillaboom. And can head smash with this thing being plus four KO? Probably not. But am I going to hope it does? Probably. It's not KO. It's it's not very effective as well, so. And I, and I, and that's that, that works better for me. That works better for me. He dodged it. We weren't going to KO anyway. I'm, I'm cool with that. Body press. Actually survived. That's... That's really good. <laughs> we actually survived. Now, the problem I have here is Snow is gone. We have a problem. We have a huge problem. Snow is gone, and I pretty much need to land this Blizzard. Unless you outspeed me here. You might outspeed me. We're going to go for Blizzard. Hopefully, that can KO. And I'm going to rip a Head Smash here. I could go for E-Speed instead. I'm going to go for Head Smash. I think you Thrasilize. I keep trying to read Thrasilization, and they're just not Thrasilizing, which is kind of annoying. Like, I thought the Scissor would Thrasilize. I thought the Robin would Thrasilize. Finally, the Superior Thrasilizes. Thank you. This should be fire. This should be fire, but there is a chance that you just outspeed me. Oh, it's Stellar. Oh, wow. So we could just we could just send Flare Blitz all day. So Stellar Terror type comes out here. Blizzard is going to land, which is huge, and we don't get rid of Arch Ludon. We do not get rid of Arch Ludon. And Terror Blast launches. Go into my... My Ninetales. You do. Awesome. Cool. So Ninetales comes out here. Takes enough damage to die. <clears throat> and... Head Smash should just finish off this... This Superior. Unless... Unless... Unless something tragic happens. Where... Somebody misses it. Alright, cool. He doesn't miss. <laughs> I was gonna say... Unless we miss this attack, Superior gone now, I can just bring out Rhyperior, who actually takes a nice chunk of damage to, to, body, to body press, right? Two on one, um, what's our play call here? Protect Pop Trick Room? It's gotta be, right? It's gotta be. But I don't think you die out. You die out to a, it's gonna be... You die out to a a body press? I know you do. I know you do, Mr. Rhyperior. You you don't handle those too well. You don't handle those too well. But but Bronze you're you're neutral to this. You are neutral to this. Well for protect Trick Room. You get off Trick Room. We're gonna protect Rhyperior. If you go after Bronze on KO with Body Press, I'm gonna be so upset. Alright, great call, man. Great call, man. We block up the body press. Womp womp. And Trick Room comes out here to clean up this match. So, comes in full circle. Rhyperior starts off today's video. He's going to end today's video. I can drop EQs freely. But is EQ even going to KO? I don't even know. This thing's plus 5 on defense. So, I'm going to do that. And honestly, I think extra sensory does more damage than body press. I I'm not even kidding with you. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Extra sensory, can you just KO? You don't. Hey, EQ, come on here. Plus, plus six now. Oh, no. EQ, you got this. You got this all day. You got to have this. You got to have this. Thank you. All right, I was going to say, could you imagine if EQ just, like, dropped it, like, one HP? 
I would be like, bro, we're going to lose this match all day. But Trick Room popping out in late game. We end up going 2 1 for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The kick of Trick Room right here is back in action in today's video. Ended up going 2 and 1. Lost our first match, which was a really close battle. We ended up winning our second match in a sweet fashion. And then the third and final match came down to the wire. Right here and Bronze on clutching up, popping Trick Room, popping a protect. Ending it with EQ with Rypeer. What more can you guys ask for? But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.